with the Beatitudes. Yeah, Moving on down into chapter 6 to teach you how to pray mm -hmm. and fast. Mm -hmm. Then he gets to chapter 7 and he deals with falsehood. Yeah. Yeah. He starts by telling you not to judge anybody yeah. unless you're going to use the same judgment on your side. Yes, Amen. Then he moves on down and he started dealing with the different kinds of fruit mm. on the tree. Yeah. But in this particular verse, verse 13 and 14, he's dealing with two paths yeah. and two destinations. Yeah. I want you to know this morning that if you plan to have life, yeah. you got to take the right road. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, if you can't, and we always say, if you can't go to Grand Rapids, if you stay on 31. <laughs> no. <laughs> you will not. You got to hit the road and know which road to take. So we have two destinations in this text. One destination is life. And the other destination is destruction. There's always been presented Two different ways. There's always been God's way, and then there's always been our way. Yeah. I want to declare to you this morning that Isaiah said in Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 8, he said that there is a highway there. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And it shall be called the way of holiness. Yeah. Hallelujah. And it doesn't matter how many ways people think there is to God. The Bible says that God has a created a way for the righteous man. Yeah. Hallelujah. God has created a path Amen. that will allow us to bypass God. all of the falsehoods. Yeah. It allows us to bypass the strong delusion yeah. that has taken the world. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Solomon said in Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12, he says, there is a way that seems right. Look at somebody and say, I don't want to be in a way that seems right. I don't want to feel right. I want to know that I am right. And the only way to know that you're right is to examine yourself and see if you are in the faith. I feel like preaching a revival message. People come to church and they want to hear feel good messages and they want to hear all of these motivational speeches. But the Lord told me to tell you that He's on His way back and none but the right. Told him to say, Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Hallelujah. Let's turn to Luke chapter 13. Let's look at this a little bit closer. I'm moving faster. Let me tell you now, the Lord didn't spare me when he gave me this. So I can't spare you when I do it. If Uncle Cleve was here this morning, he'd say, who are you trying to fool? I hope it's not me. So Sir Lisa said, praying this morning that God hears our, war, our works. Yeah. He hears how we're living, not what we're saying. But he knows our hearts. Yeah. And it's going to be a bad thing to think you fooling God and then when you get up before the judgment seat, you find out that you didn't fool nobody but yourself. Yeah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost said that God meant what he said and he said what he meant. That he wants a clean church. Yes. A church that has the glory of God. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. Oh, God. Worldliness came on in the church. Yes. Then you get mad at folks that's trying to hold up the stand. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. But I want you to understand that Jesus spoke very specifically that everybody can enter into this way. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Wow. Look at Luke chapter 13 and 24. He gets a little bit more specific there. Thank you, Jesus. The way of holiness is an exclusive way. Yes, it is. Yeah. 
is a difficult way. Yeah. That's what the word straight means. That's T R A I T. Yeah. Straight means difficult. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't enter in unless you love God. Amen. You can't enter in unless you deny yourself. Yeah. You can't enter in unless He done shaved off all of that world.
Somebody get Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. All right, then. We have the mother sitting up here. And they had all this wisdom. But it was hard to hear anybody here to hear. I said, Lord, what's going on? And he showed me this verse. Listen, if you try to be saved and you're single, we need what these mothers got to say. Amen. Amen. But instead of hearing them, we say, oh, that's old fashioned. Yeah. We throw that on off because we got our own way that we do our thing. Yeah. Well, you in the Bible this morning. Say it. It's all right. <laughs> The Lord took my mind to Proverbs and said, The wisdom has thrown a banquet. She has called out to her children. Wisdom is speaking loud, but ain't nobody listening. And we shipwreck in our lives because we have forsaken the straight way. And we have settled for the alternative. But the Holy Ghost told me to tell you, you better get out of that broad way. Get out of that broad way where you can do whatever you want on Monday and Tuesday. Get out of that Broadway where you can hide your boo on the side. He said, come on back in the lights. And get on the straight streets. Help us, Jesus. What do we say? Jeremiah 6 and 16. Yeah. Thus says the Lord. We got the mother sitting up here. Talking about how to love your husband. It's right. How to keep yourself. And we say, well, I ain't mad. Some of us don't even plan on getting married. Because Paul says, in this age, we have left the natural use of the woman. We have left the natural use of the man. We don't even know our place anymore. Right. It used to be a time where a woman used to wait if she couldn't find a cover. Right. 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 Now we don't want nobody to tell us nothing. But the Apostle Paul says, if you burn in your flesh, you better find somebody. Because you're on a broad road and flesh won't get under control. You got to find somebody. But how do you know not just anybody? I've never seen so many dysfunctional relationships before in all the days of my life. <laughs> Woman, if you think you got to keep your eye on him 24-7, then he ain't got your heart. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to do all in his face. Hey, the, the guy I'm working with, the girl only been with him six months. She couldn't wait for him to propose. She proposed. You propose and you don't even agree with my lifestyle. You try to control me. There's so much going on. We need the wisdom. We need the warning. But it says, stand in the way. Yes. And see. See. And ask for the old path. Ask for what? The old path. Why am I asking for the old path? You're asking for the old path because the new path ain't no good. The new path, you can't stay married to nobody. The new path, you got all kinds of STDs. You got all kinds of children and you don't know who the father is on the new path. You're destroying the families. You're destroying the schools. You're weakening the church with the new path. God said, go back to the way I put the church. I told him in Sunday school that the church, we are citizens from another country. We represent the kingdom which is from on high. We don't represent the world. We don't treat our affairs the way the world treats our affairs. We discipline our children in Jesus' name. Yeah. We submit ourselves to each other in Jesus' name. Yeah. Right. Come on. Right. 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 We don't come to a time we don't know what the right way is no more. I 
give you a hint. If it's broad, it's broad. Talk about I'm too narrow minded. If it ain't narrow, it ain't right. How many know God's way is narrow? His way's so narrow, he said that man is the glory of God. And woman is the glory of man. The head of Christ is God. The head of man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. That's narrow. He said the, the wife ought to obey her husband. And the husband ought to love her. And Christ has loved the church. Paul said, let every woman have her own husband, not boyfriend, not living in husband. Got to switch to God and say, keep it straight. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4, I feel the Holy Ghost. He said, Let marriage be honorable. Yeah. Then your bed is on the fire. He said, The hormones, the fornicators, might not get you down. He said, But I'm going to judge you. How many know God wants your bed under the fire? He wants your children under the fire. But you got to get straight. Holy well, Ghost took me all down through this pastor. He said a lot of us don't compromise. And Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. How do you expect God to bless that? And it's unbalanced. Well, just in case they don't want to tell you, that's what I'm here for this morning. God said, if he's an unbeliever, leave him alone. And he don't confess that Jesus is the Christ. The Son of the living God, if he doesn't believe in his heart that God raised him from the dead, then he can't love you. She ain't no good for you. She don't love Jesus. Somebody said, Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. It's what the mother is telling us. But it's saying, honest. For the good way. The old path. That's when we was doing it right. That's when we loved right. And lived clean. And honest. We didn't come out at night once everybody went to bed. Huh? We ain't all in the chat rooms at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we don't have stuff. We didn't have stuff on our screen that wasn't of God. But the new way. Hey, 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 we come on in the church hey, 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 when we feel like it. Hey, 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 the Lord understands me. No, you're going to be judged. Go back to the I mean, you know, you're not going to get in with that luggage. Stay as that. They said, walk in. Thank you, Jesus. Thus said the Lord, stay in ye in the way. Who is he talking to? Talking to us, leave us. You know why we got the mothers doing what they're doing? Because the Lord told us to pass it down. You ought to go to Titus chapter 1. He gave you instructions and qualifications for the bishop. Amen. Then when you move to chapter 2 in Titus, he's talking about the age man and how we, we, we're supposed to be an example. And then he mentions the age women, how they ought to teach, teach, teach. Teach the sisters, not the world. Teach those that name the name of Christ. Teach those that come to church. Teach those that sing in the choir how to be chaste. How many know the Lord is going to marry a chaste virgin? Listen, when you chase and you know your worth, you don't go in your standard and let somebody move in and live with you. And he ain't your husband. 
door. I mean, no, he's going to close the door. Amen. And he began to stand without mm. and to knock at the door, yeah. saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. How many of you know that when judgment comes, there is no time to bargain with God? We all must stand. Where you are not? You got to give an account for why you love them more than you love God. Amen. You got to give an account. But like Paul said, who is it? Amen. What is it that tricked you? Amen. It's not obeying the truth. You, you ran well. You started good. Who was it that told you it was okay? Who told you that God is weak in that? He is patient, but God is not a fool. That they knew him. And that made me ask the question Can you convince God that you're on his side? What is it that you can say that can convince God that you know him? Well, look at the next verse. Read the next verse. They mentioned some stuff. Did you want to finish up? Yes. Let me finish. I wanted to say, and he shall answer and say unto them, unto you, I know you not. How I many know he's going to answer? <laughs> now he said that twice in this text. I'll wait till we get to the second. Yeah, amen. But this is them trying to prove yeah, you are in the God. I know I'm saved because I can say it. <laughs> I know I'm saved because I know how to preach. I know I'm saved because I know this spirit hitting the floor. Your works is not going to grant you entrance. You have to be born again. If it hasn't happened, you stop right where you are. You don't have to be a hypocrite. You don't have to go to hell play in church. You can stand up right now and tell God to forgive you and to save your soul. And he'll watch you. With the regeneration of the word of God. He will clean you with the words that come out of his mouth. He'll transform you. We will come out of the Sunday school. They can say, I know I'm wrong, but can you purge me? Can you watch me? Can you give me another heart? Praise it. Praise it. Praise it. Hallelujah. Look what these people say. Praise it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We have eaten and drunk in the presence. We did all this in your presence. Yes, Lord. Did you see us? Yes. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me and says, when you come to church, my Lord. You're in the presence of God. But that don't mean he in you. We taught us since two years ago. I don't want to be close to the kingdom. I want to be in the kingdom. I don't want to be around God. I want to be in him. Here in God. God said, just because you're in my presence, don't make me work. Because I give it to you every week, but you didn't do nothing with it. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read the next verse. Verse 27 says, But he shall say, What did he say? I tell you, I tell you, I know you not. Say it again. I know you not. This is what the Holy Ghost told me. He said on that day, He can't acknowledge anything he don't recognize. He said, you did these things. You came to church. But I don't recognize you. Because you don't look like my bride. I know you sung your song. And you're shouting up and down on the aisle. But when I look at you, I don't see my glory. I don't see my righteousness. I don't see my bride. I don't recognize you. His bride, his bride ain't gonna come walking over there 
you want to go to Revelation 4 wow, and find out what she's going to be married? The Bible says that she's going to have on white yeah, which is the righteousness of the saints. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. She's going to have on spots, wrinkles, loops. Come up looking like the world. We talked about that this morning. We're supposed to be re reflecting him. Reflecting the kingdom. And we come up in here reflecting the world. And you don't know what my crazy hair do. You don't look like his bride. She don't look like that. She's clothed in righteousness. She's clothed in humility. Shame faced it. Somebody say you don't want to rose there. You want to keep it straight. Read the next verse. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Did he say you're going to be crushed out? What did he say?
Keep it straight. 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 Get, get right. You ain't fooling nobody. Yes, yes. Mm. 